Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 24th November 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you want to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website Superior Profit dot co and click on the about menu before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profits trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return superior profit is not an investment advisor this session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study market direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market break and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength. We'll study that using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in Traders Forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. From the weekly chart, we can see that oil is dropping sharply. In the daily chart, we had suggested a trend following short setup on this candle. Since then, price is moving down sharply. In the last market roundup, I suggested that if price could go above a quarterly pivot at this point, then you could look for a low risk buy opportunity. However, that didn't happen. Instead, price fell more this week. Therefore, those of you who took the short trade on this day may continue to hold the remaining position with trailing stop to make sure that profit doesn't erode in case oil reverses from here. Gold ETF GLD Relative performance line shows it is doing better than the market. Weekly has a mixed shape candle with hollow body but long upper tail the candle color is also neutral yellow. In the daily chart, price is inside a triangle pattern. It doesn't have any clear direction. If you want to take a long trade in gold, you could plan it in two different ways. One is to let price drop to the support memory and look for a reversal from there. Another technique could be to let gold break out of the resistance memory and then give us a low risk swing long entry opportunity. From commodities analysis, we move to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals, new high-low, advanced decline, and up-down volume. 
because this analysis is using broad indices and weekly interval this may be used more for longer term investment decisions not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading this week both nasdaq and nyse drop the candle colors have turned bearish red or magenta the internals are mixed four of the internals are below zero and two of them are above zero though by small amount you can see that the internals used to be primarily above zero in earlier periods and now they are gradually tilting downward this is showing that the market is gradually rolling over from an earlier uptrend to a downtrend overall combining the candle charts and the internals we may conclude that the markets are bearish at present and the internals are mixed for this week let's see if this overall bearish picture is visible in the market ETFs as well. S&P 500 ETF SPY. This week we had a sharp drop. The weekly candle color and shape both are bearish. Price is close to the memory trend line support. In the daily chart, price drop. On Friday we had a bearish shape candle the color is also bearish price is somewhat away from the memory support line but not very far SPY is clearly bearish however near support line this is not a time to take short trade at the same time you may not take any long trade until you see price coming to the memory support and reversing from there. NASDAQ ETF QQQ, similar picture like SPY. The weekly candle color and shape both are bearish. Price is near memory trend line support. Daily is bearish. This is not a time to take long trade because it is bearish. At the same time, because price is close to the memory support line, you may not take any short trade either. Dow Jones ETF DIA, similar picture, weekly candle color and shape both are bearish. Price is near trend line support. Daily is very bearish, near memory trend line support. May wait to see if price is either bouncing or piercing from the memory support line before deciding your next swing trade. Russell 2000 ETF IWM this ETF shows a slightly different picture weekly candle color is bearish however here the lower tail is longer than the other ETFs. We can see several recent weekly candles have long lower tails as if whenever price is going to this range 145 to 148 bulls are supporting the price the relative strength is also visible from the relative performance line there is no long trade right now however if the market reverses up from here IWM may be the first one to give us low risk long entry opportunity what do we see when we combine the market breadth analysis and market ETF analysis market breadth is clearly bearish market ETFs are also bearish however many of them are near memory support levels both in weekly as well as daily charts this is not a time to take short trades because the prices are near support levels this is not a time to take long trades either because the markets are bearish that is what we know when we look at the market 
However, when we drill down to sector level and then industry level, we can always find trade opportunities by aligning industry strength or weakness with fundamental strength or weakness and then technical strength or weakness. Sector analysis. We are studying four week sector performance. We are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar performance of one week prior to the red bar. And blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance. Any bar to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up. Any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week 10 of the sectors are down showing a bearish picture of the market at the sector level as well. Energy is by far the worst performing sector. It is now down for all the three review periods. It is too late to start shorting energy stocks. Instead you may look for low risk buying opportunity if the sector and oil reverses. What are the best performing sectors now? These are the defensive sectors. We can see that clearly from the QH heat map. Utilities, the only sector that is positive this week, continues to be one of the strongest sectors over multiple review periods. Sector scorecard and heat map using Q edge. Here we are analyzing the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan is bullish, magenta is bearish. Clearly, the strongest sectors are defensive in nature utilities, real estate, and consumer staples. The weakest sectors right now are materials, information technology and energy. Therefore, if you are looking for buying opportunities, you may look for them in the strong sectors, utilities, real estate, consumer staples. And if you are looking for shorting opportunities, you may look for them in materials, infotech and energy. We can see that utilities is strong for many review periods, it is cyan over many, many periods. Energy, on the other hand, is weak over many periods. Therefore, the best shorting opportunities in energy might have passed us and the best buying opportunities in utilities might have passed us. However, the sector level is too broad, we need to make a trading decision based on industry level and then drilling down into the underlying stocks. Best performing industries. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores. Some of these industries are strong from one week earlier. Some of them gain strength this week. Because these are the best performing industries, you will look for buying opportunities in them. Three of these industries are related to housing, home building. These are home building, household appliances and home furnishings. And two of them are related to utilities, independent power producers and energy traders and renewable electricity. When you see multiple related industries are strong together, you have more reasons to look for buying opportunities there. I drilled down into household appliances and found WHR. It has optimal valuation with positive recent quarter earnings growth and also pays a small dividend. It gave a headwind reversal trade setup on 30th October that could catch the very low of the stock. 
on this Monday, 16th November, the stock gave a trend following go with flow long setup and then went up for all the days of the week while the overall market was dropping. Using the strength of the industry, the fundamental strength in terms of valuation and earnings growth, and the unique reversal signal headwind followed by trend following setup on Q charts, you could take a profitable long trade while the market was dropping. By aligning forces from industry level, fundamental level and technical level. This illustrates the value of choosing stocks using 360 degrees analysis. QEdge analyzes hundreds of industries in the same way that it analyzes the sectors, analyzes them across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently in recent times and creates a scorecard and heat map. The best performing industries are shown with cyan color over 5 days period. Household appliances is a strong industry. You would look for buying opportunities in this industry. Let's drill down. Fundamental stock scorecard using QEdge. Using the color coding instantly, we see that WHR is optimally valued cyan color under valuation column. The latest quarter EPS is also positive, pays a dividend yield of 3.8%. WHR using technical charts. After a sharp drop, after earnings, the weekly candle color turned cyan and since then it is continuing to go up. In the daily chart, after earnings, price tried to go down, however reversed strongly on this candle. The same candle displayed the Q headwind reversal signal. Since then, price is continuing to go up. You could take a headwind reversal long trade right on this day when the headwind signal appeared. The weekly was also aligned with the trade setup. You could catch the extreme low of the stock using this headwind trade setup. On this cyan color candle, you had another buying opportunity and this time it was a trend following go with flow trade setup. Since then, for all the days of the week, price went up in spite of the overall market going down. The relative performance is also showing that it is outperforming the market. Using the industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength, Q setups, you could buy it either at the very bottom or at this point as it gave the first trend following long trade setup. Back to the best performing industries list. When you are looking at these industries, you are looking for buying opportunities. You will like to get those buy setups in stocks that are fundamentally strong, either in terms of valuation or in terms of earnings growth, sometimes both. And then if the stocks are giving technical buy points, then you have all the forces aligned with your trade. Renewable electricity is strong this week. I drilled down and saw all these stocks A, Y, P, E, G, I and T, E, R, P. They are either optimally valued or are having strong earnings growth. None of these are overvalued. All these stocks reversed right after displaying the Q headwind reversal signal. From industry scorecard and heat map, you can see that renewable electricity is very strong now. It is in utilities sector. Utilities is the best performing sector of the week. Drilling down into the stocks, we find three stocks that are not overvalued. The valuation 
color is either cyan or yellow, not magenta. Magenta indicates overvalued stocks. These three stocks are not overvalued and they all have very nice recent quarter earnings growth as well. In fact, they have solid earnings growth in last three successive quarters. And all these three stocks pay very nice dividend as well between 6.7 to 8.2 percent. These stocks are in a strong industry, fundamentally they are strong, therefore you will look for buying opportunities in these stocks. AY In the daily chart, it displayed two bullish headwind signals and after that price could go up strongly. The bullish headwinds could catch the very bottom or almost the very bottom of the stock. After sharp move up, it fell down equally sharply. The stock is fundamentally strong, therefore you are not going to look for a short trade here. Instead, if price comes to the memory trend line support, or the watermark pivot support level and reverses from there, you may look for a buying opportunity. TERP Once again, the bearish headwind as well as the bullish headwind could capture the extreme levels of the price. It could predict the impending price reversal very accurately. What is the market movement of this stock? It is moving sideways. When it is moving in a sideways fashion, we are going to try to take sideways market trades. Therefore, we will not try to take any trade in the middle of the sideways range. The stock is fundamentally strong, so you are going to look for only buying opportunity. That may come if price comes to the lower end of the range and reverses from there. Right now, there is no trade setup in TERP. PEGI. Here also, the bullish headwind in the daily chart could catch the very bottom. From there, price went up sharply. It has created higher high and higher low. The weekly candle color and shape both are bullish. The stock is fundamentally strong, so you are going to look for only buying opportunity. However, price is very close to the upper boundary levels. This is not a place where you will look for a buying opportunity. You may wait for PEGI to give us a low risk entry point. That may come if price can break out of the watermark pivot resistance, tilts down and goes up again. The study of renewable electricity and these three stocks that are fundamentally strong shows that even if we have a strong industry and fundamentally strong stocks, doesn't mean that you will immediately have a buying opportunity. You need to see first what kind of market moves they are in. It can be trending market, sideways market, exhausting or reversing market. And then wait for the appropriate trade setup. None of these three stocks have such trade setups right now. Therefore, you will wait patiently for a low risk buying opportunity to come. Because they are fundamentally strong. You are not going to look for any short entry opportunity. You will only look for buying opportunity and those are not there yet. Worst performing industries of this week. Because they are weak industries, you are going to look for short opportunities here. We are looking at the industries, 5 days and 10 days course. Some of them are weak from one week earlier itself. And some of them we can heavily this week. Four of the ten worst performing industries are in consumer discretionary sector. These are 
कम्पिटार एंड इलेक्ट्रनिक्स रिटेल एपारेल रिटेल होम फार्निशिंग रिटेल एंड जेनारे मार्चेंडाइज स्टोर्स अल अब देम आर रिटेल रिलेटेड हेन यू सी माल्टिपल रिलेटेड इंडस्ट्रीज आर उक टूगेदार यू हाव मोर रिजेंस टू लुक फर शर्टिंग अपरचुनिटीज देर क्यू एच शोज दैट स्पेशलिटी स्टोर्स अल्सो रिलेटेड टू रिटेल अल्सो इन कन्ज्यूमार डिसक्रिशनारि सेक्टर इज वन अब द वार्ष्ट पार्फर्मिंग इंडस्ट्रीज इन दिस इंडस्ट्री टी एस सीओ इज ओभार भू यू हाव ए उक इंडस्ट्री एंड ए स्टक दैट इज ओभार भू यू आर गोयिंग टू लुक फर शर्टिंग अपरचुनिटीज देर Indeed, it displayed a bearish headwind, the reversal signal in daily chart on 12th November, and since then it fell rapidly. The headwind once again could accurately foretell the impending drop. The stock dropped by additional 4.3 percentage this week. Q Edge Industry Scorecard shows specialty stores as one of the weakest industries. looking to the right you can see it was stronger earlier cyan colored now it has become weak magenta when we drill down into the industry instantly from the color coding we see that tsco is overvalued the valuation is in magenta color therefore you have a weak industry and a weak stock fundamentally weak stock the last step would be to look for a low risk shorting point on technical charts on q charts you had a bearish headwind reversal signal in the daily chart on this candle since then price has dropped heavily this week since monday price has dropped further weekly also displayed bearish headwind at the very top Once again, using the headwind signal, if you were holding any long position, you could protect profit, and even take a very profitable short trade. If you took a short trade, right now you will be cautious because the price is very near the memory trend line support in both daily and weekly charts. If price starts to reverse from here, you will quickly book full profit. On the other hand, if price pierces below the memory support level, then you will continue to hold at least partial position, trying to let profit run. The most accelerating industries. We are looking at their five days and ten days course. For all these industries, five days score is much higher than the ten days score, showing they accelerated. These industries may not be in the front, but they are gaining strength rapidly. Therefore, you are going to look for buying opportunities in them. Airport services is one of the most accelerating industries. You will look for a fundamentally strong stock. MIC is one such stock. It has optimal valuation and has an excellent dividend yield of ten point two percent. On fifteenth November, MIC gave a box long trade setup at the double bottom. It also displayed a headwind reversal signal on the same day. Since then, MIC went up. The trade has already hit. Initial profit target by now. In this case, you could look at the industry strength acceleration, look for a fundamentally strong stock, and technical signals to look for a low risk buy point. Take the long trade, combining all the forces, and book profit in a few days. Starting accelerating industries using. Q edge. All the accelerating industries are shown 
with sand color under paste 5 days column. These are the industries that may be behind but are gaining strength rapidly. Airport services is one of them. You can see from the magenta colors that it was weak for many review periods. Even in the current week under the 5 days column, the color is magenta, somewhere in between cyan and magenta. So it is still weak. However, paste column is showing it is accelerating fast. Using this acceleration signal, you may catch true turnaround candidates and you would like to have them in fundamentally strong stocks. When you drill down instantly using the color coding, you know MIC is optimally valued from the cyan color. From the dividend in column, you see it is paying a very large dividend, 10.2%. Therefore, you have an accelerating industry, you have a fundamentally strong stock. Last step is to look for a buy point using one of the Q trade setups on Q technical charts. MIC using at a glance template. It displayed a bullish headwind signal on this candle. At the same time, it came to the watermark pivot support level and reversed from there. It also displayed a bull release signal on the same day. There was heavy activity at the earlier low point that created the double bottom. Therefore, this yellow color candle met all the requirements of a box long trade setup. We had additional confirmation from the bullish headwind to take the long trade. The entry point would be just at the close of the day. Stop would be just below recent low, below the memory trend line support. And as price went up, it covered more than the risk distance and partial profit could be booked. On Friday, you have a very bullish shape candle. The industry is accelerating, the stock is fundamentally strong, pays a nice dividend. We have a bullish shape candle on Friday. Under these circumstances, you would not like to book full profit. You would book partial profit with discipline and hold on to partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. Decelerating industries. These are losing momentum. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores. For all of them, the score dropped significantly, showing that they are decelerating. You are going to look for shorting opportunities in the decelerating industries. And when industry deceleration and technical deceleration come together, they give a stronger signal about a possible reversal. The technical deceleration can be identified using the headwind signal. Metal and glass containers is one of the most decelerating industries this week. In this industry, BLL has no apparent technical weakness. However, if you are using the Q charts, then you will notice the Headwind reversal signal has come both in the weekly as well as daily charts. It's a unique technical deceleration indication that often precedes price reversal. Therefore, we have a stock that is decelerating on technical charts and it belongs to a decelerating industry. If you are holding a long position, you may protect or book profit. And short traders may look for a low risk short entry opportunity. Studying industry deceleration using QH, all the decelerating industries are shown with magenta color under paste 5 days column. Metal and glass containers is one of the decelerating industries. You can see the 5 day score is not magenta yet. However, you are able to identify the weakness using the 
deceleration shown in the pace column. This is a decelerating industry. You would like to identify a fundamentally weak stock in this industry and then look for technical short opportunity. When you drill down into the industry, instantly you can identify BLL as an overvalued stock because it is in magenta color under valuation column. So you have checked two of the three requirements. We have a decelerating industry and we have an overvalued stock. Last step will be to look for a shorting opportunity, low risk shorting opportunity on technical charts. BLL using Q at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it has displayed the headwind possible reversal signal and daily has displayed the same reversal signal. For last three days, you have candles with long upper tails, showing that every time price is trying to go up, sellers are coming in. If you didn't use Q charts, you would not see the possible reversal signals and you would probably continue to hold a long position in this stock. However, if you are using the Q360 degrees analysis, you can now see that the industry is decelerating, the stock is overvalued, and the technical charts are showing weakness. Therefore, you would protect or book profit in any existing long position. And if price continues to go down from here, you will look for a low risk short opportunity. You could look for such a short opportunity either using daily chart using the Q unambiguous trade setups or you could look for them using intraday fine tune chart which will allow you to take a very low risk precise short entry in the stock. In this case using Q360 degrees analysis the industry's deceleration, fundamental overvaluation and technical weakness you could be careful about your long position and look for low risk short opportunity. Those were our regular topics. Let me summarize. The market breadth is bearish. Market ETFs are also bearish. However, all the ETFs have dropped significantly already. They are oversold. They are also near memory trend line support levels. Therefore, you would not like to take many new short trades right now. The market is bearish. Normally, you would not look for bullish trades if you are looking only at the market level. However, when you are able to drill down into the industries and then stocks, fundamentals and technicals, you are able to align industry strength weakness fundamental strength weakness and technical strength weakness and take trades in either direction. Using this 360 degrees analysis, you could take a long trade in WHR in one of the best performing industries. You could take a short trade in TSCO in one of the worst performing industries, specialty stores. And you could also take a long trade in Accelerating industry airport services in MIC. All of these trades hit profit target comfortably. In the decelerating industry, metal and glass containers, you could identify BLL as a stock that is showing signs of weakness at all the three levels industry level, fundamental level, and technical level. There is no short setup yet. However, if you are holding a long position, you will be cautious and you will look for a short opportunity in this stock. In this way, by combining the industry analysis, fundamental analysis and technical analysis using visual systems, you can easily identify low risk, high probability trade opportunities in all market conditions. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thanks for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.